Hey folks, today we're going to talk about the MIDI Piano Player plugin for iClone, or MPP for short. This plugin allows you to animate a G-Tools keyboard prop simply by importing a MIDI file. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is install the uh, MPP plugin per the instructions in the README file. Alright, there's a couple of things you want to do before you start the plugin. One is to put the MIDI file in your uh, Reillusion custom data path. You can see them there on the screen for the different versions. Also, you want to load in the GT Keyboard's iProp that you're going to animate. To load the plugin, just go to the Plugins menu in iClone, and under that you'll find G-Tools, and under the G-Tools submenu is the MIDI Piano Player. Just click on that, and it opens the plug. A simple prompt appears asking you for the name of the MIDI file you want to import. You just click on the ellipsis and it will open a file chooser. Um, the file chooser will display all the MIDI files in your custom folder that we talked about earlier. To load a file, you can either double click on the file or single click and uh, click on open. One important thing to note is that the uh, file will be imported at the frame that the playhead is currently at when you import the file. So if you want to start at the beginning, make sure your playhead is all the way back at frame 1. Once you open the MIDI file, the uh, plugin will uh, expand to display some more information, including the file name, the file size, the file format, number of tracks in the file, the tempo, and the time signature. Tempo and time signature is just at the beginning of the file. It could change during the song, but it doesn't affect the timing. This information will be followed by a list of tracks in the file. You just use the arrow keys to select the track that you want to import and click on Animate Keyboard. The Animate Keyboard button will turn gray uh, while the file is being processed, and then it returns back to normal when it's done. This could take a while depending on uh, the complexity and size of the MIDI file. There could be many, many events in there that has to go through all of them. So please be patient. All right, I'm just going to take a minute to talk about the three types of MIDI file formats. Type 0 is called single track. Type 1 is called multi-track synchronous. Type 2 is called multi-track asynchronous. And Type 2 is not supported by the MPP plugin. Type 0 single track kind of misleading because uh, in some software it could put all the track, basically merge all the tracks onto one track. And so when you go to animate that, you're going to see all the different instruments playing at one time on the keyboard, which could be not what you want. So I'd recommend that you use a Type 1 MIDI file. That way you can choose exactly which track you want to animate. So let's look at an example here. I loaded in a file called uh, Mary Lamb. You can see it's a Type 1 MIDI file. Track 1 is usually, in this type of file, is usually just the file name. And you can see that's followed by track 2, which I've labeled piano track, and uh, track 3, which is a brass track. So let's see how those uh, animate here. Okay, I uh, imported track 3, so you can see the keys moving for the brass track. The audio file contains both the brass and the piano, so uh, We'll go back and re-import the uh, piano track over the top of the brass track, and you'll see both playing at the same time. I imported track two, the piano track, and now you can see both uh, the accompaniment and the melody playing together on the keyboard. So you have pretty much uh, complete control over how you want to animate the keyboards. To add the audio file, you, just, you can just drag and drop the uh, audio file into your scene. You want to make sure that the playhead is at the same frame that your animation started. Also, the audio files should be recorded from the MIDI file so that they're in sync. I want to remind you that this plugin will only work with the GT Keyboard's iProps that you can find in the Reillusion Marketplace. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.